Did you know that over 38 million people are living with HIV worldwide? But advancements in treatment are closer than ever to potentially curing this virus. Could we see a world without HIV in the near future? Welcome to Alpha Nutrition. Today, we're exploring one of the most critical questions in global health. Is a cure for HIV imminent? Since the HIV epidemic began in the 1980s, researchers have been striving not just to manage it, but to find a complete cure. For millions of people worldwide, this would be life-changing. While treatments have come a long way, the search for a definitive cure has remained a top priority. Let's dive into the latest developments and see how close we really are to curing HIV. To understand the challenge, we need to look at the current state of HIV treatments. Today, antiretroviral therapy, ART, has made it possible for people with HIV to live long, healthy lives by suppressing the virus to undetectable levels. But ART isn't a cure. It requires lifelong adherence. And if the treatment stops, the virus can quickly rebound. Additionally, access to ART remains limited in certain parts of the world, which leaves millions still at risk. One of the main obstacles in developing a cure is the virus's ability to hide in what we call reservoirs within the body. HIV can remain dormant in these cells, undetectable by the immune system and unaffected by treatments. This makes it extremely challenging to eliminate HIV entirely. The complexity of the virus itself, combined with the unique hurdles of reaching and eradicating these hidden reservoirs, has made the search for a cure one of the most demanding in medical history. Let's take a look at some of the promising research and techniques currently being explored to overcome these challenges. 1. Gene Therapy Gene therapy is one of the most exciting areas in HIV research. Scientists are exploring ways to alter a person's genetic makeup to either block HIV from infecting cells or to enhance the immune system's ability to detect and destroy the virus. A popular method involves modifying the CCR5 gene, which HIV uses as a pathway to infect cells. Researchers have had some success in editing this gene, which could potentially prevent the virus from establishing itself in the body. 2. Immunotherapy Another approach is immunotherapy, which involves boosting the immune system's ability to fight HIV. This includes using engineered antibodies or immune cells trained to target and destroy infected cells. In particular, researchers are looking at CAR T cell therapy, a treatment initially developed for cancer. CAR T cells are customized to recognize and kill HIV infected cells, which may offer a path to long-term remission without the need for daily medication. Three, kick and kill approach. The kick and kill strategy is another innovative method in which dormant HIV reservoirs are kicked into active replication so that they can be detected and eliminated. This involves using drugs to wake up the hidden virus, allowing the immune system or therapeutic agents to locate and destroy it. Several studies are testing this approach and while it's complex, it's showing potential in reducing these reservoirs. 4. Bone Marrow Transplants We've also seen cases where individuals appear to be cured of HIV after receiving bone marrow transplants from donors with natural resistance to HIV. Although this isn't a practical solution for everyone due to its risk and cost, it has provided invaluable insights into how the virus can be eliminated under certain conditions. Researchers are hopeful that these cases can guide safer, more accessible treatments in the future. Now, here's the game changer. There have been several high profile cases where people appear to be in long-term remission or even functionally cured of HIV. Known as the Berlin patient and the London patient, these cases involved individuals who after a bone marrow transplant, no longer showed detectable levels of HIV years later. Recently, a third case emerged. 
raising even more hope and excitement in the scientific community. These cases demonstrate that under certain conditions, a functional cure is possible. While it may not be scalable yet, it proves that achieving a cure is within reach. To sum it up, there's a lot of reason to be hopeful. The research into gene therapy, immunotherapy, the kick and kill approach, and lessons learned from the few cured cases are making significant strides in the fight against HIV. While there's still much work to be done, it's clear we're closer than ever to developing a cure that could change the lives of millions worldwide. Staying informed and supporting ongoing research is key to making this a reality. What do you think about the future of HIV treatment? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments. And don't forget to check out our next video on other breakthroughs in health and wellness. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more updates. Thanks for watching.